New at 11, some parents raising their eyebrows tonight after being asked by their children's school for permission to read out loud a book that was written by an African-American author. The permission slip intended to comply with the parental rights and education law, but some say it goes too far. Jamie Gorilla is live from Miami-Dade County Public School Headquarters to explain tonight. Jamie. Parents, even school board members, are confused by the new policy, asking how far is too far. This controversial permission slip making the rounds on social media. It was given to us by a parent who says his first grader brought it home for him to sign. The forum describes a read aloud for Tuesday in the library at Coral Way K-8 in Miami. It says students will participate and listen to a book written by an African-American. It also says guests that may attend are fireman, doctor, artist. The parent telling NBC6 this is an unneeded process for our overworked teachers and can create more division among parents. School board member Dr. Steve Gallon. I think there is a high level of, of ambiguity. I've, I've requested that the administration uh, solicit clarity from the state. The requirement was implemented to comply with the 2022 Parental Rights and Education Law and the Stop Woke Act. The Stop Woke Act limits how race can be taught in schools. Supporters say it gives parents greater control over their children's education. But opponents like Dr. Gallon say the permission slips can lead to unequal learning. The permission slips not just tied to Black History Month. The State Board of Education requires permission slips, for example, to have a Holocaust survivor or any other guest speaker who comes to the school. To what extent are we going to now have to ask parents to sign a permission slip? Is it because it's Black History? Is it because it's Holocaust education? Is it because it's women history uh, topics again? The district issuing a statement saying in part, we realize that the description of the event may have caused confusion and we are working with our schools to reemphasize the importance of clarity for parents. However, in compliance with state law, permission slips were sent home because guest speakers would participate during a school authorized education related activity. Now look at this statement from Florida's Commissioner of Education posting on X late tonight saying, quote, this is a hoax. Florida does not require permission slips to teach African-American history or to celebrate Black History Month. Any school that does this is completely in the wrong. Reporting live in Miami, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. Jamie, thank you.